Okay guys, we're back again. Uh, I did actually make all that bronze like I promised. And I'm using fraps again, so we'll see whether the quality is any better in this. But as you can see, I've got some, some bronze tools. Got a few ingots left over, got my bronze anvil. Got like a spare hammer. Um, I also made, if I can find them, Yep, two bloomeries. So we're not going to get into iron just yet, but when we decide to do that, we're ready to go. I just need to make all the, the chimneys for them and everything. Um, but yeah, I thought finally, now there's everything's ready. There's no excuses. that I, I can actually build something. And I've actually spent some time off camera designing the rough shape for a building. I haven't done all the detail work on it yet. Um, but I thought what I would start with, because what I think we're going to end up with tons and tons and tons of is stuff like stone and dirt and gravel. And I want a place to start stashing all of that. And then the next building I make will be for another type of material and so on. But I also wanted a place where I could be stashing building materials to make it easier and more organized for me to build the next few buildings. So if you've never used Schematica before, um, it's pretty cool. You can save schematics of buildings and then you can pick them again. The one I made was this. We're gonna be making a stone mason. And boom, pops it into the world. Now you need to tweak this a little bit, get your orientation right. Uh, so I'm gonna lower that one, I'm going to rotate it like that, and then, oop, too far, too far. Uh, I don't know, something like, let's just check that. So it stays in place. Yeah, it could do with coming a little bit further over. Can't remember which one that was now, dang it. Uh, one more. Let's have a look, and around the back. Yeah, I know this looks like a little bit of a colorful mess. I'll explain in a minute. Um, no, and I definitely want that closer to the wall. I'll have to dig out all these purple blocks you see. Those are um, things that are in the way, but some of those look like they're in the way when they're not. It's just because it saved all the air spaces around the building I made, so we've got to fit it into the actual world here. Uh, like that, I think. Let's see. Yeah, let's just run through this because it's just ghost blocks. So yeah, I'm going to have to dig out all of this stuff in the middle here. But I thought in this area, we're going to have all of our chests running along the side. There should be plenty there for me to store every type of stone, plus a few extras for things like dirt and gravel. And maybe I'll put the gems and everything in here too. And then attached to that is a little house area. I'm gonna have a bed in here, um, a chimney. Can't really tell because there's too much stuff in the way. Um, but yeah, I, I use this as like, say this is the stone cutter's little cabin that's attached to the main building. Um, but this is also probably gonna, gonna be where where I'm living until I can get a proper house made. Um, but yeah, that's it. What I need to do is get, these are a lot of carpenter's blocks. I'm gonna need to get a ton of sticks, a ton of wood. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to make some some grout so I can make all the bricks. I don't think I'm gonna keep it all bricks like this. I might vary it up a little bit, mix it up a little bit. I just wanted to, to get the rough shape designed. And all of these wooden strips here, these are the lumber. And for some reason, it doesn't like those. So. Like in actual fact, that strip there is there in that corner um, and goes up on the outside of that corner. And it's actually holding up some of these carpenter's blocks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get some stuff together and we will finally get started. Okay, found an enderman. I thought I'd try and take him on on camera. I'd quite like to get a couple of ender pearls just for random bits and pieces. Oh, oh got me. Come back here. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, these guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, uh oh. Uh, okay. He's he's brought reinforcements. Oh, they do so much damage. Oh, this is not good. Uh. Oh. Okay. If he. Oh no, he's he's getting me. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a great wood tree here, but there's lots of bad things around. Okay, here's one. Come on. Hammers are pretty good for taking on skeletons. 
Oh, I did not realize how low health I was. Um, yeah, because I died and my XP is gone as well. It's not helping. All right. Um, oh. Spawner zombie. Okay. Okay, we got him quick enough. But yeah, this great wood tree over here. Um, these are really good for getting lots of wood for like building projects or for crafting recipes where you have to use wood in them, like carpenter's blocks. Okay, this guy's... Oh! Oh no! Ooh! Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was pretty close. Right, I'm, I'm gonna chop this down and, uh, well, I guess we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, I managed to get some sand and I've got some some mortar cooking up at the moment and I'm basically just gathering sticks. I need to get an absolute ton of those carpenter's blocks. I need some for the bed. I need a ton for the roof. That roof is ridiculous. Um, just the, the resources it takes. It might be a little bit over the top, but I don't care. It'll be fun to build and hopefully it'll look halfway decent when it's finished. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much just going through and completely deforesting this area. I don't know if I can be bothered to chop down all these trees right now. I mean, I'm going to need the wood at some point, but it'll take a while to do. Um, so I might just, just leave them like this and come back later. Okay. I wonder how long this scythe will last. I went through a cop the copper one pretty quickly that I had earlier on in the playthrough. More! There's actually like a, a sawmill, um, like machine that we can make now, like the mechanism one. Where is that? What do we need for that? Mechanism. Uh, maybe I should have just gone sawmill. Are you there? Smelter. Sawmill, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need iron. Steel. Oh, this is going to be a while before we can make that. But um, that's going to be a more efficient way of getting lumber, at least. I wonder if there's a recipe for sticks. Oh, yeah, cool. We can actually make sticks by by grinding up those logs as well. I mean, that's definitely going to be worth doing. I have a few ideas for that. I thought maybe we could make a, a water-powered one, make some some water wheels, um, and make it look like an actual sawmill. So you put the logs in. There's some cool-looking conveyor belts. Um, so maybe have, like, a conveyor line that feeds them into the, the actual saw blade, and then it comes out with with all of your lumber and your sticks and stuff. Quite looking forward to making that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for a while. See, even when you're ready to build, you can't just build. The thing with Terra Firmacraft is just, everything takes so much in the way of materials and resources. Um, actually, I do have quite a lot of sticks here. This might be enough to get started with at least. I can't even tell which ones are items that are dropped on the floor and which ones are like the the world gen ones. Okay, let's grab these. Right. What do we got? Only four stacks. No. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need more. Well, yeah, I'm gonna see how many I can actually pick up. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the base, craft up a bunch of carpenter's blocks, see if that grout is finished so I can make some more bricks, and then I will get started on building the, the structure. I'll be with you guys in a bit. There's always something else, you know? Um, I managed to get quite a few sticks, got some wood from a great wood tree earlier, um, got a ton of straw as well, because I realize I'm going to need some of these mud bricks too. So to make those, you just need straw, um bit of clay and whatever type of dirt you want to want to make the the thing into so like they're all different colors uh, just combine them then you set them to dry so you have to lay them on the ground it's a nice sunny day we should should get them to dry quite quickly oh it's going to take a lot of space holy cow You know, it's deceptive. I thought I had tons of space in this area, and then, like, I saw the size of this building. 
We'll have to see how many we can fit in. But it might be nice. Forces us to spread out a little bit. We don't want things to be too, too cramped. Oh, one random one left over. Uh, but yeah, I've got to let them dry for a bit. The the grout is done, the mortar, so I can make some some bricks out of those. Oops, where's my stone? Where is my stone? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, it is in here. So take a couple of those. Yeah, one of them, that should do. Turn them back into the rocks. Cut them into bricks with my chisel. This really does a number on your, your tools when you're doing this. Uh, oh, I need one more. There we go. You and you, and of course it broke. But luckily I made a backup chisel for that very reason. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Get you. I'm encumbered now just from building materials. Uh, yeah, get some grout. Need one, two, three, four of them. Bunch of bricks, so that'll get me started. But before I can do that, I need to clear out some of the stuff that's in the way of this building. So you go in here, all of this stuff here is going to have to come out. I'm going to dig that away, and then I can get started with building. And I'll show you how awesome this Schematica mod actually is. Alright, catch you guys in a bit. I was watching some YouTube videos the other day. Um, it's a couple of channels I'm, I'm subscribed to. I really like, they do some good Minecraft ones. Occasionally they do some, some modded Minecraft stuff. One of my favorites is Etho, who I'm sure everyone's heard of. Um, he's, a, he's a Canadian guy, he makes, makes some really entertaining videos. And he's just recently started a Terra Firma Craft series. And it's a modded Terra Firma Craft series, which is, uh, well, it's fine by me, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I was watching his videos, and he's like, "Oh, we've got, um, we've got immersive engineering," and I'm thinking, "Yep, we've got that in Technoferma. We've got this, that, and the other." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, we've got all of those in Technoferma." Um, should have just played Technoferma, but but one mod that he's got in there is DecoCraft, and of course we have that too. Um, but. You know, normally his videos are really good, they're quite instructive, you can learn a lot by watching him. And even if you're not learning, you're having a good time, because, you know, he has a way of making boring things pretty pretty fun to watch, something which I'm, I'm struggling with in this series. Um, but I, I gotta say, I, I disagreed with him very strongly on, on one thing that happened, I think it was in the last episode. 
Now, he went through all the effort of getting the materials to make a deco bench, which is actually quite high on the list of priorities for me. I would really, really like to get one of those, get some, some nice decorations in. Um, when I've finished this building and a few others, just to make the place seem a little bit more alive, um, a bit more detailed. But yeah, he goes through all the effort to get this deco bench. And one of the first things he does with it is he makes a little bedroom, he puts a little bedside table, and on it, he sticks a little stuffed squid plushie. Now, Etho is, I assume, a grown man, and I kind of feel like he should know better. I mean, obviously, sheep are much better than squid. You, you wouldn't want to curl up at night next to a squid. It smells funny, it'd be wet and slimy. I'm, I mean, like, a sheep is much cuter, right? They're, they're better animals, they're, they're fluffy, they're superior in every way. And, I don't know, I just, just found myself a little bit disappointed. Uh, I've always kind of respected him, he's made some really cool redstone contraptions, made lots of, like, really useful vanilla mob spawners, and I've built tons of those in my worlds before. Um, and then he goes and does something like that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All I can say is we won't be making any mistakes like that in this series. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep digging this out. Now I've got that off my chest, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Hopefully we can actually do some building. Okay guys, um, everything's cleared out, and it looks like our mud bricks have dried, so I'm just picking these up. They're really easy to do, you don't even need a tool for it, you can literally just do it with your fist. And then you put them together in your inventory. Boom. Schist mud bricks. we really have to be careful how I say that. <laughs> uh, right, so once you got your building materials ready like this, uh, one of the coolest things about Schematica is it helps you build. So if you turn your printer on and you walk close to where the brick's supposed to be, it starts placing it automatically. So it's automatically laying our floor for us. I'm not having to click the mouse or anything. Oh, except maybe there? I don't know what's going on there. Do I have enough? Oh, just enough. Oh, okay. Visual glitch. Fine, I can deal with that. Oh, what was underneath there? Oh, that's gonna be brick. So yeah, that's all that place. Now we can go and put those away. Take a bunch of our bricks. This is gonna make me so slow. Oh, my days. Okay. But it starts building those for us as well. Now this does not work with everything. These lumber things are not going to place correctly if I try and do it. I don't think it handles the carpenter's blocks very well either. Um, but just just for placing these these kind of bulk bricks, getting the rough shape of it together, it is so much quicker and easier and quicker and easier to to just let it place them for you. Okay, that's the floor. I can walk through now. You have to be a little bit careful with the physics in this, because sometimes if you put the wrong things down first, they'll just start caving in. Yeah. But, like, already we've got this. What's... I don't understand why that one's purple. I'm pretty sure that should be okay. Um, but, yeah. Can I get these top ones? Yes. Go. Are they there or not? I don't know. Usually you end up at a point where you have to kind of tidy it up by hand afterwards. Um, I will be doing that. Is that there? Ah, ouch. Yes, I guess that is there. And like I say, all of these carpenter stairs you have to do by hand. So I guess I'll start working on that now. Um, the reason I got... Oh, actually, I probably haven't finished with this chimney yet. Yeah, there we go. Get a little bit higher. Here. Dang it, can't quite reach. 
I guess this isn't really here either. I'm going to have to put um, some of these this lumber down first. So there you go, a few more bits and pieces. These um, carpenter's stairs and blocks, though, to make those you need a ton, and I mean a ton of sticks and wood. So that's why I got all these great wood logs. Great wood is a good um, wood to, to farm if you need a bulk of some, a bulk amount of something. What's the recipe for these again? I can't remember. You can't use these great wood planks for everything. So the way I could just put that in my inventory and turn it into planks, whereas normally you have to use your saw, um, obviously it's much easier. So the, the, the price you pay for that is you can't use it for a lot of crafting operations. Like you can't make a boat out of that. You can't use it to make a crafting grid and, and make your, your crafting window larger. Um, that's something which got patched recently. Let's see, carpenter, wooden construction frame sticks around that. So you can see why you need so many sticks. Boom, wood in the middle. I believe you can still use it to make your wooden construction frames perfect. So yeah, I'll make a ton of these. I'll make up the stairs. And I will spend a hideous amount of time off camera working on this roof. And then I'll come cut back in and I will show you guys the finished product. And there we go. That really did take quite a long time. There's a lot of stairs and a lot of complicated patterns on that. I was trying to get the roof to be an interesting shape, so it kind of slopes up and then down the other side, although you won't ever be able to see that, and then a bit of a gradual incline on that side. Um, yeah, reasonably happy with the shape of this. Obviously it's pretty simple at the moment. There's a lot of stuff I need to get still. Um, I need to put a fire in there, and I was thinking of eventually getting a grill, but we're going to need iron for that. Still need to make the bed. I need to go harvest all of the the flax or whatever that is over there, and I'll probably need more to make the wool. Um, and then I need to make a ton of chests. That whole wall is just going to be chests. And I did it this way up against the cliff so that when we get logistics pipes, we can um, just like pipe things into the back automatically. So if I come back from mining, I can just dump stuff in a chest and it'll automatically store all of the, the junk, all the dirt and the, the stone and everything. Um, but yeah, I also want to make kind of like a builder's yard because I wanted to have an area where, you know, if we need to make more grout, we can do that. Um, and it makes sense to have it over here because this is where they're making all of the bricks that we're going to use for building. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm kind of running out of time for tonight. I'm working, oh, well, I was working today as well and I'm working late tomorrow so I'm not going to have much time to record or anything. I wanted to get the episode done. Things I need to do, this roof obviously needs a brick color in it. Um, I don't really know what to go for. I'm, I'm leaning towards basalt at the moment, just have a bit of contrast, like the really dark roof. I would like to have something with a bit of a reddy tinge in it, but I haven't found any stone. Something like chert um, would be really nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some exploring anyway because I do want that deco bench and I was looking at what rocks spawn what. We need blue dye and we need green dye to make that thing. Um, and the only way to get blue dye is lapis and the only way to get green dye is malachite. Unless anyone knows of any other way and is willing to tell me, uh, I'd be very grateful because what that means is I have to go and find marble, one very specific rock type it's around somewhere. It could be 20,000 blocks away, but I'm sure it's around somewhere. Um, malachite spawns in another type of stone as well, but lapis literally only spawns in marble. So maybe I'll go and go looking for that, and maybe on the way I'll find a, a better type of material for the roof as well. But we'll see. Maybe I'll stick like a little fence around here, have an area to make more of these, these mud bricks if we want to do that. This, this kind of looks almost like a path already, but I think I'll be using a different material for the path. I haven't decided what I'm going to what I'm going to do yet. And I'm also thinking I quite like to mix up these bricks because it's all pretty homogenous at the moment. Um, and a little bit busy. I don't like having full bricks. I think I might swap some of those out with with like smooth schist. Um, and then of course we need to put some windows in too. That's actually not going to be too hard to make. I think we've got limonite in one of these chests here somewhere. Uh, I hope. Yeah, a little bit of yellow dye. Hopefully that'll be enough just to make a couple of windows. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I think 
It went a little bit more smoothly this time. I'm still looking at ways to improve the, the video quality. Um, hopefully the audio quality is not too bad now, but we'll, we'll see. I'm happy to get some feedback. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.